What's up, Sheen Magazine? It's your girl, Big Mo, and we are here with none other than ATL Royalty. We are here with Young Jock and none other than his beautiful queen at his side, Miss Kendra Robinson. How y'all doing today? Good. How you doing? I am blessed and highly favored. I'm trying to be like y'all when I grow up. So talk to us about this cover because we know high pair has always been such a huge pillar in our community. So talk to us about being able to not only do the, co the cover together, but what it means for the culture for you all to be presented on this cover together. Well, you know, my whole journey with the whole, you know, with the hair, the, the, the moments in time that I have just sprinkled the timelines with my <laughs> moments, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's interesting because um, we actually went to one of the last uh, uh, magazine reveals they launched they did for Bow Wow. And uh, I was like, man, that's crazy. That's, that's what's up. I'm like, you know, understanding how to grow. Absolutely. Organically sometimes. And this is one of those things that, has worked for me and my, you know, my beautiful wife was like, maybe we should probably, you know what I'm saying, if you want to do that, do that. I was like, yeah. And then PR came, Ebony. Yeah. Shout out to Ebony. Ebony was really instrumental in just everything, Very. putting it together. And, um, you know, every little girl growing up, <laughs> especially every little black girl, you know, we always used to get the Hyper Hair magazine. So she fun. got excited about it. I was, like, <laughs> I was excited because I'm like, you know, everybody know Hyper Hair. You As know. you should be. <laughs> so it was good. It's, it's, it's a, a, a blessing to be able to be a part of this and be able to, Man, let's just you know, be for real. You know, represent for the culture. First and foremost, one of the, one of the, the, the we start speaking of the, the concept of the American dream and any entertainer, you know, people, you want to grace the covers of magazines, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of like one of those parts of it. And, um, you know, for myself, me being a man, you know, I'm, I may not be as interested in the hair, <laughs> even though I do a lot of crazy things with my hair, but my wife and, and, and women alike and just people all over the world, you know, they love to see what we do with our hair. So I feel good to be a part of it, man. It was It's actually an honor. I can't wait to see the couple because we don't know which picture they, we don't know, we haven't even seen pictures. Yeah. So we don't. We're going to be experiencing it all together. The pics look good. I mean, we, we hope they did. I mean, yeah. when I saw her in person, when, I'm going to keep it a, a buck. I came around the corner and when I saw what she had on, I was like, God. I was like, hey, man, you know what, God? We all right. Make sure that's how y'all feel about y'all wife at home. Yeah. <laughs> but Kendra V, I have another question. We are able to see you being the boss chick that you are. You don't take no mess. And Jock, you're also a mogul and a boss on your own. How did it feel with you all's union coming together? And how does it feel both of you being bosses, being business owners? And how does how do you set professional boundaries and other boundaries within your marriage as well as in business with each other? Well, you know, it's just like, to me, I, I look at it as a blessing to have a husband who's a provider, who is a boss, who, you know, is going to always make sure everything is taken care of. And, you know, if I if I contribute, it's just cherry on top because, you know, he takes care of that. And, you know, everybody doesn't, you know, have that Absolutely. security in place, but it helps so much, like, with... Um, you know, him working, me working, but you know, we always know that we have to have a, a good blend of, of personal life and work life. So, you know, what we do a lot of times is we plan stuff out. Like we, just like how you have to work on a schedule in business, we kind of, you know, schedule time to go to the movies, schedule time to, okay, let's just put the phones down, let's hang out and stuff. So we just, we are intentional about spending time with each other and, you know, making sure that we don't overwork ourselves so that we can have time. Because I'm, I'm Mr. Sporadic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be like, baby, hey, you want to go to the skating ring? She's like, what? Oh, uh, what? Or, I'm like, we're going to go skating. She's like, baby, my knee. I'm like, well, then we just going to go to the skating ring. And then she'll be like, oh, okay, well, wait, let me try. Hold on. So I'm like, well, you know, if you want to, it's cool. If not. And then she'd be happy with the effort. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then I we'll know. be like, all right, we'll just settle, we'll settle for cooking tonight when we get home. And sometimes it takes that. Sometimes we have to just... DoorDash or catch something <laughs> on the way, meet each other up, yeah. out somewhere, but we make it work. Y'all see how in love they are? <laughs> But I just want to wrap up with one more question. Here at Sheen, we are a family, so I'm going to give Kendra one round of cookout questions. Finish this lyric. Oh, shit. I'm like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. How many in the club want to go? She got it. <laughs> she got it. She got it. You. 
You got it, Kendra. You got it. <laughs> and I'm here with our host for the evening, Miss Maisha. How you doing? Hey, Mo. How are you? I am good, girl. So, you know, here at Sheen Magazine, we all family. And in celebration of Black History Month, I'm going to hit you with a couple little cookout questions. You ready? Okay. Ooh, cookout questions. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. All right. You ready? You sure you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Finish this line. Get your ass in the house before what? Before the 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 the, the street lights come on. <laughs> all right, if I get everybody's attention, I want to thank you all so much for coming out. My name is Maya Simone. I'm your official host for tonight, and I want to welcome. Oh, thank you. Yes, the love. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for joining us for Kendra and Jock's Crazy in Love cover reveal. Of course, it is presented by Hype Hair Magazine and sponsored by Maya Organics. And it's such an honor to be up here. First and foremost, I want to say thank y'all for coming out tonight to celebrate, you know what I'm saying, this amazing event. My wife and I will be gracing the cover of Hype Hair Magazine. And I just wanted to talk to y'all. What's up, Eric? What's up, shoot? Shout out to the beautiful people in the... Uh, in the audience, if y'all feeling good tonight, say hell yeah. yeah. Let me see if y'all know any of these young jock shit. Let's go. Okay. Lady. What? What? Scrub, what up? Let me see if you know this right here. Yeah. What up, so? Miss Nikki, one with no fear. Miss Nikki, the brand of Diva Day International. Shout now, Sheen Magazine here with Maya. <laughs> What's up? It's the big one, Rennie Rucci, and you are checked in with Sheen Magazine. Y'all pay attention to what they have going on. You don't want to miss nothing. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Maya Simone, and I am excited to be here at the Hype Hair Magazine cover for Kendra and Jock. But I need a shout out to Sheen Magazine because I've been featured in this magazine twice already. They really rock with the people. I love y'all. <laughs> hey, what up? It's your favorite cousin, Young Jock. And this is Kendra. And we are definitely in the building with Sheen Magazine. Yeah. Definitely. We have of the Hype Hair CEO, Leah Dias, the Hype Hair team in Atlanta, the Hype Hair team in Los Angeles. We would like to present the love cover. Featuring Jock and Kendra, make some noise. Yeah. Woo! 